Here we have this 72 play Audi RS3 TFSI Quattro Carbon Black. It's got the Matrix LED headlights with the large black grille in the middle with the RS3 badging. We've also got front and rear parking sensors with a rear reversing camera with an in-car visual display. 19 inch matte black alloy wheels with the RS3 badging on the caliper. Privacy glass at the rear for the passengers with a black trim around the outside. Colour coded door handles with the carbon mirrors. We'll just take a look at those there. We've also got the carbon spoiler on the rear, as you can see just there. Now, on this vehicle, we've got the RS3 badging at the back, and we've also got the dual exit exhaust at the bottom of the diffuser with the parking sensors running across the middle of the bumper. Now, if I just press this button twice on the key, the boot lid automatically opens, and as you can see, we've got plenty of space inside there for whatever you may need. Now, if you just pull the handle down like so, tailgate closes. Now this car does come free from any major marks, dents or scratches. So as we take a look at the rear interior, you'll be able to see we've got the all black leather with the crisscross stitching, isofix points with the armrest in the centre. We've also got the electric windows and the Bang & Olufsen premium sound system. Onto the front, we've got the same styling front seats, all black leather with the crisscross stitching. We've even got the RS embroidery at the top just there. Both of these seats are heated. We've also got the heated electric side mirrors, electric windows, child lock at the rear, and that premium Bang & Olufsen sound system in the front also. We've got the automatic lights with the auto wipers, and we've also got the multi-functional flat bottom steering wheel. Taking a seat inside and turning this vehicle on, my foot is on the brake, press the start button, and as you can see on the dashboard, we're free from any warning lights other than the fuel. Onto the steering wheel, you can see we've got the functions button here for the dashboard, so if you just press the three lines, it comes up with the um, different options for that screen. If you press it again, it goes away. If you press the view button just here, then you can change the way the dashboard sits if you want your rev limiter. Also, if you press the arrows left and right, it will go across the top for the phone connectivity or your Bluetooth. Onto the right hand side, we've also got the volume button with this RS button. If you press the RS button, it change the, changes the drive modes of this vehicle. So we've got the individual, we've also got the performance, we've got the efficiency and comfort as well. We've also got the paddle shifts either side behind. Onto the main screen, you can see we've got the satellite navigation there. This is a touch screen as well. So as we go down the right hand side here, you can see that we've got the radio. We've also got the different source buttons just there. So we've got the DAB radio, the last stations. We've got the Bluetooth media here and we've also got the Bluetooth phone connectivity with the Apple CarPlay and the sat nav again. If you go into the main screen there, you'll be able to see all of the other functions as well. So if you go into car, you'll be able to see we've got the different drive mode button there. We've also got the different, so if you go into the RS monitor, shows you whether the engine is warm and cold. Also gives you your maximum G meter values as well. Back onto the main menu, we've got the dual climate control with the heated seats on both sides. We've also got the air conditioning with the heated rear window just there. We've got the drive mode button here as well. We've also got the stop start and the park assist. We've got the USB with a little bit of a holder there for your keys maybe. We've also got the gearbox here. If you just push that up into reverse, you'll be able to see on screen we've got the rear reverse camera with the sensors down the left hand side. Popping it back into neutral and park, making this vehicle safe. We've also got the electric handbrake with the cup holders and you can move these around so you've either got space for your phone or keys again or you can pop your drink in there. We've also got the leather armrest and open and more space again. Now that's all I'm going to show you guys today. For more information on this vehicle, you can head to the website or give our sales team a call. This car comes with a fresh MOT and a fresh service and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.
video test drive of this Audi RS3 TFSI Quattro Carbon Black Edition. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm now having to fight with the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, but not very enough to the left or to the right hand side for staying straight and true. Now we do have the multifunctional steering wheel, which has the paddle shifters on either side. If you want to set the car into mining mode, just tap one of the paddles and it will do so. We also have the adaptive cruise control and the speedometer just here on this stalk. We've got the virtual cockpit in front of us, which can display different bits of information and different displays that are seen on the photos and also on the walk-around video. If, if you do listen carefully as well throughout this video test drive, you'll also notice we'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. Now we do have the premium bang or loss and sound system in this vehicle, with the sound incredible. We've got plenty of features, including the carbon fibre on the bits on the exterior. We have the main infotainment screen just here as well in the centre, currently shown only sat nav, also has plenty of features on there, again, that you'll have seen on the photos. Below there we do have the climate control, we have the heated seats as well on either both the front and passenger, both the front driver and passenger side seats, both are heated, perfect for the cold winter mornings, they're also very comfortable, you need to do 2, 3 or even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. We have the asphalt air conditioning as well, perfect for the hot summer days, we also have the automatic gearbox as well with all the different drive modes. Now in a moment we're about to take a right hand turn, so if we put our right indicator on, start to slow down and then wait for the traffic to pass before making the right hand turn onto the industrial park. So wait for these cars to go past and then we make the right hand turn just in a moment. This car is letting me go, so if we make the right hand turn onto the industrial park and perform an emergency stop in 3, 2, 1. Hard onto the brakes, put the car into reverse. We have the reversing camera up here on the screen. Put it back into a drive with no issues whatsoever. If this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions, along with one of your inquiries of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.